Hey guys, the objective of this video is to talk about reduction formulas. So let's say we were wanting to integrate x to the power of 10 e to the x dx. So we'd use integration by parts. So we would have something like, uh, we would call v dash e to the x because we know we're going to have to integrate that. Um, and when you integrate e to the x, you get e to the x. So it makes it a bit simpler. And we'll call u x to the 10. So integrating this, we'll have u v. So u is just u, so that's x to the 10. Uh, v dash is e to the x, so v you'd have to integrate this to get e to the x minus the integral of differentiating u would be 10x to the power of 9 integrating v again would be e to the x. Okay, now what we'd have to do, you can't integrate this so we're going to have to do integration of parts again on this, uh, fact, on this integral here. Now I'm just going to put the 10 out the front because that's constant so I'm just going to integrate x to the power of 9 e to the x and we're going to get x to the power of 9 e to the x minus the integral of 9 x to the power of 8 e to the x. So you can see what's happening is, is that each time I'm doing this, I'm dropping a power. So it was x to the power of 9, now it's x to the power of 8. So we have to integrate this by parts again. And we would have, taking out the 9 out the front, just looking at this section there, x to the power of 8 e to the x dx equals 8 x to the power of 8 e to the x minus integral of 7 x to the 7 e to the x, okay? I'm just running through this very quickly just to prove a point, the fact that we'd have to integrate by parts again and again and again and again, okay? And each time we do that, this would eventually drop down to something we can integrate um, as the power disappears. So, what we can do is come up with a general form. And just to mention, we actually did um, an